Hey everybody, what's going on? It's your boy Time Rocker back here with another Ever Crisis video. I'm excited because this time I finally get to start working on some of this new free to play stuff, man. So um, I'm going to go over today uh, a basically what would be for like a new account person trying to do very hard a free for the very first time because, mm -hmm. hey, let's face it, it's not easy the very first time. It's very hard. So. I'm gonna work on trying. I'm gonna show you guys how to beat, beat this fight. If you're especially if you're a new player of the game, um, at the end of the fight, I will go over my my setup essentially and kind of give you a breakdown of what I'm looking at. So you can see my power level. It's about 113,000, 114. The recommended is about 178,000. Doesn't matter. We're still gonna go and we're gonna clear this fight out regardless. So it's gonna be a very very close fight, um, but we will be able to do it. So. Let's get now down to the nitty gritty and I will show you uh, what needs to be done and how you can beat this bad boy. So it's not too bad of a fight. It's uh, pretty simple, but the big, some of the biggest issues actually come up front and there's gonna be a lot of defensive you're gonna wanna play here. So right off the bat, you wanna remove this guy here ASAP, right? So whatever whatever moves you have, get rid of this guy, right? We need, we need him gone ASAP. So if that means you need to use a move that may not be as damaging in a certain in certain instances uh do it right so like i did you like i'm doing ruin right there you're gonna want to be defensive for flame dance here because otherwise you're gonna take huge damage now from here you're gonna want to basically get into defense mode with Aerith, and you actually want to stay there the reason why is because you're gonna want to kind of stay in your defense option as much as you can so even even let your other guys you know do other things don't use the, the weakness you know do whatever whatever needs to be done in order to uh, in, in order to heal up. So I'm just gonna hang out here, let Aerith build some meter, and that way she, I can get some I can get a heal out of this out of this. There we go. See what I mean? So we're just sitting here. We want to build up the ATB for Aerith more than anybody. So by sitting here, it allows me to do that. Right. So he's gonna do his focus a thing. That's fine. So okay, perfect. Yeah. Now we can go ahead and, and take him out. As we built up some nice meter for Aerith that we normally wouldn't get because when you heal, you don't get as much. Uh, when I say meter, I mean I mean your limit break. So you're not going to have as much. So here you're going to want to focus down the bombs and do, just do the best you can. And then when you see bombs specifically go into their AOE move, you're going to want to defend because otherwise you're going to take huge damage. So it's like a big, uh, there it is, the flaming breath. You're going to want to defend against both of these. They're both going to do them. And you want to watch out for that. It's huge damage. Now, if if the uh, fiery condor, whoever he hits with the flaming beak, you're probably going to take some pretty big damage. Um, so you're going to want to make sure to heal that person up on their own. We're going to go ahead and pop a limit break here. Just to, oh nope, we don't have to. Okay, I was about to. I was about to, and I forgot to defend there. So now I'm eating my own words. So heat wave coming up. We definitely need to defend against that and heal up ASAP. So again, a lot of this is we need to get to that limit break for Aerith like right away, right? So just kind of defend as much as you can. Also, the, there's a piercing talon move you're going to see here. There it is, that piercing beat, sorry, that you're going to have from the fiery condor. You're also going to want to try to defend against that as well. It's a very, very strong move, and you don't want to take too much damage from that. See what I mean? So go into defense mode right there anytime you think you're going to take a big hit. It'll help save your butt. Trust me. Worth doing. So we're just gonna keep going in defense mode and just heal up. Okay, that wasn't the that wasn't the beaks, so that's good. So we just wanna focus. Heal, heal, heal. Heal's the name of the game right now. Right? I'm not a I'm not at a concern of anybody else dying, but we do want to get a big heal on Sephiroth, because if you see he's he's a bit lower on health than everybody else. Right? So we wanna focus him up with heals. So just keep just keep it going, because we're gonna wanna save the healing wind here. For uh, for a free because otherwise we're gonna get cooked. And we, and, well, we don't want to get cooked. He's gonna hit us with another heat wave. That's fine. Not a big deal, right? And from here we're gonna sit in defense mode. This way I can get a I can get an AOE heal that I need. All right. So I'm gonna grab Sephiroth. I'm gonna hit with some ruin blow because it's not gonna do much. Because I need I need an AOE heal right now. So that's what I'm focusing on. There we go. We picked it up. Piercing Beak, okay. Yeah, so this is why we do this. So now, we're going to be able to do some good damage to Ifrit here.
We're going to actually start off right now just to get it out of the way. Start getting some damage on him and heal up because we need to. And we're going to have to start focusing on getting his, his ice. Um, he's going to have an ice meter and we want to keep that meter as low as possible. The lower the meter is, the less damage he does. If he gets to max meter, well, you can just kiss yourself goodnight. <laughs> so, okay, there we go. So we want to make sure, and then anytime he comes in for those attacks, you're going to want to block. So swap to whoever you may need to swap to in order to avoid getting, uh, taking as much damage as possible. Okay, we just want to keep healing, right? If more than one person has, has some health missing, you want to make sure that you are keeping them, keeping them protected. Okay, we're going to go for the double there, go for this boy. And then right here, we're going to actually need to heal up Cloud. His cloud's low, so we just want to go him. Now, he's focusing Aerith right now, so after this, when this attack hits, we're definitely going to want to uh, heal Aerith up. So you want to keep a heal available if possible. So we're going we're gonna to hit her with the Kira here right after the charge. There it is. Big damage, so you got to watch out. And a single heal. Now, after this part, he's going to go into a, a phase where you're going to need to get rid of the ruins. Or his sigils. So you're going to want to prepare for this. And that way you can just get him down as fast as possible. Now in this case. It is it can get kind of tough. Because you are going to need to heal a bit. But you So you want to get that hellfire level. As low as you can. As fast as you can. If you're able. You want to see if you can try to get Aerith to another limit break. So if you can get her to another limit break. Before, uh, before everything ends. That's perfect. There it is. Perfect. So now he's at the lowest level, so that's really good. You want to make sure you defend. His little bar up here, when it fills up, you want to make sure you defend against it. Otherwise, uh, you're going to die. So this is perfect. So after we come out of this, we're just going to keep hitting him. I want to make sure I actually grab Sephiroth here. Otherwise, if I don't, um, Sephiroth will actually not use the uh, three-cost move, which is what I really need him to use here. Otherwise, he's going to actually use his uh, main attack move because I don't have a diamond sigil. So I'm just going to go ahead and grab him here. Otherwise, uh, it's just to make sure that I'm not wasting ATB. And everybody else is just going to go on the attack, right? So we're just going to focus on hitting him. Just everybody hits as much as they can. I can probably afford a frost blade here, so I'm going to go ahead and do it. His last one here. And then for, we're going to want to grab Aerith because we need to heal up, right? So once they start attacking, I need to get Aerith healed up. And then now we can really focus on just pure damage. Just put that damage out there. Big damage. All right, so everybody's healed up pretty well right now. We're just going to be patient, right? We want to wait. Don't want to make any, any moves that we don't need to make. Okay, here we go. So that's why we waited on that move, right? We want to get that bar down. Remember, I was talking about getting that, that ice bar down as much as possible. Here comes an AoE move. So you want to defend against these. Remember that the more that bar is down, the more you're going to, the more, uh, or sorry, the less damage you're going to take. So we're going to wait till that bar right there on the right is full filled up. There's another AoE hit. Got to keep that bar all the way down as much as we can. And then heal up as much as we can, right? So keep that health up. Okay, that's pretty good. We got we got that meter, so he's already almost dead. See, big damage. No, no big deal. No big deal. He's gonna heal. That's okay. I didn't. Ex Oops, I was already in attack. I was already in defense mode. I didn't expect her to heal there. That's that's my that's my bad. So now this is gonna be his final mode right here. If you he if this bar fills up, he's gonna win. So what we're gonna do is just stay in attack mode, build everybody's limit break, and then hit them all. This will increase the damage that your limit breaks will do. If your limit breaks aren't level five or, or like mine are, uh, you can you know you can uh, probably do them at level one. It doesn't limit breaks do a, a very minimal amount of damage in this fight compared to other things. But from here, it's just a, a race to the finish. So we're just going to control the guys. We don't really need to control much, to be honest. And we'll just we'll probably kill him right here. There it is. Perfect. And that is very hard to free, ladies and gentlemen. So kind of key takeaways there for you guys. 
At the very beginning of the fight, you want to get in defensive, build up that meter for Aerith. That way you can heal as soon as you get to the main fight for, for a free. <laughs> I'm not going to get a good score because, you know, I'm not expected to win there. But, um, you know, it is it is doable with a very low power level. So you'll get the you'll get these here. You'll be able to unlock uh, Hellfire, which I think this is my free to play account, which I that's this is the first clear on it. So that should allow me to unlock Hellfire. Now let's let's go take a look. Uh, let's see here. Will that allow me to unlock Hellfire? Growth. And let's check it out. Let's go back to the beginning. All the way down. Uh, yeah. Oh, oh, I still have to do these. Okay, so I haven't done all of them yet. So we got to deliver these crystals. Oh, I got to get those crystals. So not quite. <laughs> I have most of the prerequisite done but, not, done, but not all of them. So anyway, that's still solid. So I'm going to go over my party here that I used for this for you guys. So this is the one I used, so it's about 113,000 power. As you saw, I did have some time left over, so I could honestly go with a team that doesn't hit as hard for damage, um, but I can um, have maybe better survivability, things like that. So this is this account's about a week and a half old. Um, I did be, I, my, my levels were able to get at least really high early on because of the event that happened with the bomb rush, but if not, um, you may not be able, you probably won't be able to do it that fast, but that's okay. You can still do it uh, with just some manual play. So just kind of go over it. I have an OB-1 Buster Sword here. Pretty simple. I put it on main hand because of the boost attack and, and HP. If I swap it with Maritime, I don't quite get as... I, I don't quite just... I don't benefit as much, right? And that's because Maritime's not 80 and it's also not at o Overboost 1. So I kind of lose out on that. Uh, a three-star Blizzard Blow here um, on my my main uh, damaging. Actually, this could have been in a better position. It should have been down here. I would have been doing an extra 20%, 10% damage. So that's that's a mistake on my end. So that actually that move should have actually been been down there. So that's a mistake of mine. Now they'll swap. Uh, I have a five level five cross slash, um, and then for sub weapons, I have a just a single five-star uh, black whiskers. I have a single five-star bald eagle. These will give me physical attack up. So you can see that helps boost my damage. And then I have the uh, Lefko Kip Kipselli. Left, how, you know what? Yes. Um, and that's just there for extra attack. So none of these give me are giving me the second boost here. I'm not getting ice potency out of them. I'm not getting water potency. This is just purely, hey, I need more damage. This is what I need to focus on, right? So that's what we got cooking for Cloud. Um, and then the main thing you also will need, you'll need a Ruin Blow X. That's how you're going to get through that Sigil phase. Very important there. For Aerith, uh, we're rocking her, her gear here that you can buy in the shop that you can get for free. This is the one, if you're going to get any in the shop, I recommend it's it's the best one by far. Uh, level 5 Healing Wave here. Uh, you could probably honestly pull it off with a level 1 or 2. It's just, if you can increase it, great, because this is the best limit break in the game so far. Um, otherwise, you can leave it as is. Uh, I got the... Uh, Fairy tail here, uh, level 60. So just basic five star 53. It's just a good AOE heal. You can honestly swap her out if you want for Matt. Matt could do the same exact job for the AOE heals. That's the most important aspect of this fight, honestly, is the healing. Um, because once you basically just need healing and then just focus on good ice damage, and that's the main thing. Um, I do have a maxed out Ramu staff because of the co-op thing that was going on right now for the co-op, so I did max that out. Um, Granted, I could probably switch this out for a lot of different things, especially if you've been playing for three, four weeks, you're probably gonna have more pulls. And I'll show you here, I haven't used any of my crystals. So if you've pulled any on any of the banners, you're probably gonna have a lot better, more, just better and more weapons than, than I have in this account. So you can easily replace this with probably something that will give a magic attack or something of that sort. I don't, all this gives me is just the stats from it and, and that's it really. Um, but it, it's good stats better than anything else I have. So that's why I have it there. Um, this one here uh, upgraded from the Sephiroth event that was out. So any, uh, if you've played probably within the last month of me, uh, of when I made this video, you should have this easily. Um, and I boosted this one. It does give nice physical defense. So that's very helpful and boost HP. Um, and then we also have the rifle of Levin, same thing, the Ramu weapon, but on, uh, for, for Lucia and then the Efreet weapon here. So if you see 
kind of the, all the co-op uh, summoned weapons I have here for the Materia. Uh, this one actually ended up, I ended up getting this, so this, this probably helped a good chunk. Granted, she was primarily uh, healing, not doing as much damage as she was anything else, but this is the best ice weapon I have, so this does help. Um, a four-star Blazera here, so that was nice. Um, I have Akira in the back, so the Kira is there specifically for single target healing. It does a better job than than the fairy tale would. So at the at the percentage rate, and then just this is the only Ruin X I have. That's it. <laughs> so a level one Ruin X specifically just use it to get down uh, those sigils, and then on Sephiroth here. Um, I have uh, probably one of my new favorite weapons, Shinra Blade Model One, fantastic weapon. Boost physical attack, boost ability potency, which allows me to get an extra 8% damage at uh, at max attack stance. And then we have it, it boosts water, which doesn't do me any good anyway. And then two boost magic potencies here on, on Materia, so that's nice. Uh, secondary weapon here is Aerial Frostblade. That was our main damage dealer for, for against him. Um, there are other characters who have something similar. So if you don't have Sephiroth, if you have Yuffie... If you have Tifa, anybody that can do ice damage with good with good uh, with a good weapon, good damage, that's what you want to focus on. So you don't have to use Sephiroth here. Um, honestly, this entire party can be swapped up. Cloud's probably one of the better ones here, though. Just early on, because of the Braver or the Buster Sword, it does help a lot, and it's a sexy weapon. So. But but anybody this whole team can be swapped whoever you want this just happens to be who I just got the best weapons for um, And who I kind of pulled for early on I got edge wings at the beginning of the game I also got a maritime sword at the beginning of the game So I was like well, I guess I'll start with them because those are good weapons But again, you can swap these uh, these characters out with pretty much anybody as long as you have a good physical attack or a good ice attack and then um, as far as materia goes here on Sephiroth or sorry sub weapons I put the Afrit Axe, the Inferno Grave. Again, strictly for stats. I'm not getting the boost attack here. I'm not. I'm, I'm still 10 levels away from that, so I, I'm not getting that boost. Um, this one here, I did boost up because I needed it for the Sephiroth event. Torn Wings gives good physical defense and boost attack, so great weapon here to have. And then I also have uh, Zoihander, which gives me a boost attack as well. So that's been helpful to get him some good damage. So you can see he's at 1498. Cloud is at 1541. And Aerith is at 1120. But her, I was mostly focusing on healing. So, and then for Materia, uh, strictly I just focused on, hey, what's going to give me big magic attack? So, uh, Watera just happens to give me a big magic attack for him. Uh, this Ruin X here, I needed that. Obviously, it doesn't give me any magic attack, but it's the only, it's the best one I have in terms of damage because of the rarity of it and everything else I get, which is the HP. So, I put that on him. And then also the Ruin Blow, I put this on because of the magic attack, even though I'm not really using it. But... Uh, yeah, that's pretty much covers that fight for you guys. Um, it can be done at a pretty low level here So just if you are a new player, this is what I did um, To complete this Th especially with Yuffie out now Sephiroth was not out when we first had this uh, When we for this when we were first clearing this fight a lot of us did it before Sephiroth and there's a lot more ice weapons out now that weren't out at all in fact at that time so Hopefully this helps you guys clear the very hard of fight helps you unlock uh, the the Hellfire, which is a great great summon ability, or you're gonna use that for a very long time. So thank you guys for watching. Hit the subscribe button, and uh, I will see you next time. So keep rocking. Peace.